Hello, this is Alfred Poor for NewDomain.net. I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and I'm talking with James Hollis from Corning about Gorilla Glass for notebook computers with touchscreens. I'm familiar with uh, Gorilla Glass and the extra strength that it adds and how it prevents cracks and scratches and all. What's this new variety that you have here, the, the, the Gorilla Glass NBT? Okay, so as you know, if you think about the history of Gorilla Glass, we started off really um, supporting handheld devices like uh, smartphones and music players. And the next form factor to come along in the industry were tablets and slates, uh, convertible notebooks. And now that touch has come to the notebook computer, um, depending on the configuration a particular company wanted to use for the cover, we decided that we wanted to, to, to formulate or, or provide a product specifically targeted for that segment. Um, in this particular situation, we've got uh, Soda Lime, which is uh, kind of a standard glass strengthened that can be used there. Uh, we've, it's just 0.7 Soda Lime. It's actually 0.4 millimeter uh, Gorilla NBT. Okay. That that's 0.4 versus 0.7, so it's about half the thickness, and that means half the weight. Exactly. Exactly. And when you think about when we moved from Gorilla One to Gorilla Two, what we said then was basically um, half the half the, uh, twice the strength and half the thickness we compared to Soda Lime. And we've continued to move thinner. We added Gorilla 3, it added native damage resistance. But now what we've done with Gorilla, with, uh, with Gorilla NBT is we've allowed, um, we're allowing the, the device maker in the touch on notebook segment or, or, or segment using touch um, to go thinner and still have a very, very reliable, reliable cover. That's, that's excellent. Um, so, what kind of the dam? What kind of damage do you run into now with with touch notebooks that we didn't encounter before? Well, you typically won't drop a notebook like you will a phone or a slate. Um, but you, what you do do um, is the the hinge ups are getting a lot thinner, and there's a lot of torque. Uh, some of these are separable uh, or convertibles that twist and turn, and um, edge strength is something that's very very important. So, if you actually think about um, this 0.7 soda lime and uh, the edge strength that even the, the much thinner Gorilla brings. You can actually do a demo here, and uh, you can do it or you want right, me to do it. Right, this, so take, this simulates kind of a... I don't um, want to break this. But just put it right on the edge here. Right there. Put some push. pressure there. Yep. Oh. And you can see, just, just move all around the edge the circumference there if you want. I just bought myself a brand new notebook here. Okay. And you can imagine that once you do this, once it doesn't take really a lot of point pressure to get no, that done. No. This is a little bit of torquing and you just get all types of propagation, okay? But now you can try on the point four Gorilla NBT, Gorilla right. Glass NBT. Oh, no, no, no. I'm breaking your pencil. All right. Right? Yep. So I'll do one more thing for you. I'll step around and I'm probably, I'm probably messing you up here, but we'll put it on the floor, okay? And I'll actually step on it. Okay. And that's the Gorilla NBT, and that's what it does for edge strength. So that 0.4 thickness, it allows the device maker now to um, think about making a much, much thinner hinge up. It can handle the torque, and it can handle, obviously, the edge, dam the edge pressure or uh, um, the, uh, the damage that can potentially happen on the edge. That's awesome. And at half the weight, half the thickness, and all. Exactly, exactly. That's awesome. Hollis, thank you so much for your time. This is great. Again, from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. For a new domain.net, I'm Alfred Poor. Thanks for watching.